Hello there guys and today in this Linux tutorial we are going to have a review. Okay, so what did we talk about from the last checkpoint up until this point? Well, first thing we talked about is we talked about file modes and permissions. Okay, so let's take a look at, for example, this uh, uh, this file, which is ls.txt. Let's take a look at that file's permissions. The first character, which is right here, is telling us if we are talking about a file or a directory or something else. The next three characters tell us user permissions. The next three characters, and let me just highlight them here, uh, tell us group permissions. And the next three characters tell us the world permissions. Then we talked about the following commands. We talked about ch mode, which is used to change file permissions. We talked about ch own, which is used to change the file owner. We explained how umask works, and we said that it is used as a bit mask to modif uh, for uh, modifying the file permissions that came from an application. That is, that is, uh, it is used to define the default permissions. Uh, we talked about the password command, which is spelled as P-A-S-S-W-D. Then we also talked about uh, add user command. And we said that it's more primitive cousin is user add. Okay, just you just type in user add. So add user is better, user add is is lower level so that's why i said more primitive so avoid user add try to use that user if it's available uh, user del command is used to delete uh, is used to uh, delete users and we also talked about some files and we said that etc uh, password is used to map user users to their ids while etc sudors is used to uh, keep the list of users who can execute the pseudo command. Okay, so this is pretty much it of what we talked about. This was sort of like a very quick review. And uh, I hope you kind of refreshed your memory. You know, we talked about files and most of the commands were dealing with files and users. And this is actually the things which are going to be very, very important for you uh, in your uh, everyday usage. I mean, maybe not so much in your everyday usage if you're just using your computer for web browsing or something like that. But from time to time, even at even if you are using Linux only for that, you will encounter some file related stuff. Okay, so this is definitely going to be one of the most use, useful, uh, applicable uh, sort of uh, Linux uh, chapters. Okay, so thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Talk soon.